I'm driving solo cross-country to the west in my 1998 Jeep that I converted into a camper. I don't have a budget, plan, or even a destination, which works for me, but how long can I actually last and will my Jeep even make it with 270,000 miles already on it? Luck has to be on our side for this. Let's call this expedition Western Luck. I'm so upset. There's a huge leak in the rear diff. Like it looks like it's coming from the rubber thing, but it wouldn't be that just that simple because that's just too simple. Like this leak is strange to me because gear oil is very thick. And like, look, it's, it's a massive, like it's, yeah, it is leaking out of the little rubber thing. And I, that's strong enough to get it off. Oi, <laughs> oi, oi. This oil smells like cat piss. In any case, the oil on the ground matches the same smell as the oil that's coming out of the thing. So I'm pretty sure that leak is from me, but like, I just don't understand how it can make such a big leak. I'm mad. I'm so shocked that this succulent has survived for the past year through every climate. <laughs> like I forgot it in here and it like froze and it still survived. And a little, another little flower is growing right out here. So we're gonna take this with us again. I've been packing for the past two days, getting everything around. I'm leaving today. I'm gonna try and make it to Louisville, Kentucky. I feel like I have more stuff this time around than I did last time in a way, but I think it's, I'm, I don't have to take the solar, the portable solar panel. So I have a lot more space to put in my, my little cubby over there, but it's a tight fit. I definitely fill up every little place that I can, but the main reason for that is because I wanted to use stuff I already had and stuff that I could get cheap at the Amish store. So I didn't have to be buying expensive things on the road because, you know, I'm definitely on a budget. So bringing this stuff with me kind of saves money in a way. I'm going to put in my battery and my water and I'll be pretty much packed and ready to go. I took these out because it is winter time and it does get below freezing at night time. So you don't want your battery to get too cold, otherwise it will not charge. And I don't want the water to freeze. You know, why is it, I don't know why that's not working right. I need to fix that. Kind of nice, clean. Got the water working, everything's good to go. Hey, it's time to go. <laughs> oh, it's cold. Hopefully, we'll make it to Kentucky today and it won't be unbearably cold. It'll be cold, it's gonna be really cold, but hopefully it's not unbearable. Let's start this adventure to the west. I have about four more hours to get to Louis, Louisville, Louisville, I don't know how to say it, or around that area. I don't want to be right in the city, but I need to find a rest stop that's close to there, but I think I'm tired. <laughs> I'm not used to driving like this. Like, I don't know if I was ever used to it, but like, I wish that I could get to Tennessee because the temperature is going to drop tonight. If I stayed like right here, which I'm not going to, it would be like 20 degrees at night and I'm in Ohio right now. I just got to get through this stretch and survive this. And then once I get more Southern Western, I think, I think I'll be okay. I had to take a break because I am exhausted. I'm so tired. And I forgot this fact, but in the East, there's not nearly as many rest stops. I don't feel like, I don't feel like I've made very much ground today. I'm still in Ohio. I mean, the weather's been great. Everything's been great. And then the sun's setting and that's the worst time for my eyeballs. Burns just so the eyes don't burn against the glaring sun. Okay, we're at our first rest stop for the night and I'm, I'm very tired. I'm just into Kentucky. I'm not cold yet, but it's gonna be a cold one. I just set up all my coverings, which I got some new ones 
over here to cover it based on solar magnetic on the top. Um, it's not cold yet. This is my new light setup. Let's plug this into the battery and see if it even turns on. I haven't tried this yet. Okay, so it works. We put it on first setting and heat it up. Wait till that heats up and see how how we bode tonight at freezing. Okay, so right now it's 46 degrees and it's supposed to, the low tonight is 26. I hope it doesn't get down to 26, but it looks like it's gonna get down to 32 or 33. I think we can handle that. I'm gonna try this blanket tonight, which is, it's warming up, I can feel it. And I'll let you know in the morning or probably in the middle of the night if I can't sleep, how we, how we get on. Good morning, it is chilly, but it's 33 degrees. And I didn't even wear a sweater, like I'm fine. Um, I didn't even need to really use the heated blanket. I probably even had too many, like I was sweating last night, not because I was like really hot, but I just sweat whenever I sleep. I didn't sleep well. It's not that it wasn't comfortable or that I was too cold. It's just, I don't sleep well in general, so. And you know, I'm still acclimating to this lifestyle again. I do have the heated blanket on right now because it is very cold and I'm trying to will myself to get up. Gotta take my vitamins. I'm a mess. Before I left, I got another thing of pepper spray, another essential to have. This one you open over here. This is my old one where you go like that. The weather is lovely. I don't know why I'm in Indiana. I did not think I was gonna go through Indiana. I'm at the very, very bottom going back into Kentucky but I hate Indiana. I got a motel for the night. Um, I wasn't going to, but I couldn't find any rest stops and I'm too tired to drive anymore. I've driven a lot today. I'm in Missouri now. Uh, I don't really know where. My eyes are just killing me. I'm trying to get to New Mexico, the White Sands National Park, which is what I'm trying to get to. So we have about 18 hours left of driving and then I'm gonna try and go up to Arizona and stuff, so. I got this hotel really randomly. Hopefully I'll be able to sleep tonight and shower. I'm so gross. I've just been sweating and my eyes have been burning. I'm very, very grateful for this motel that I didn't expect to have tonight. What a pleasant surprise. I'll see you tomorrow. stop in a lot of very small towns I would never in a million years go to and it's very quiet and very like it feels like there's nobody that ex exists except for me it's very apocalyptic feeling I kind of like it Charleston Missouri I have oatmeal I'm gonna make it for breakfast I've been trying to save money the best I can um, I'm very glad that I was able to get a motel because I didn't realize how ugh, I realized I was exhausted, but like, I'm having a problem with my eyes this time. I don't know if it's the strain or what it is, but it's really, they're really burning. So I think I'm gonna try and wear my glasses this time around. So we're gonna drive through a lot of Arkansas. I don't know if I've been in Arkansas much. I did a mobility workout this morning. It was really nice to have the space to just do a workout, but driving that much really takes a toll on your body. Oh. I like motels because you can park right out in front of them. I can like watch my Jeep. Not that anyone would like try and steal it. It's so desolate here. I've, I'm making really good time in the past two days. I'm probably over a third of the way there, but I think I need to slow down a little bit because I'm exhausting myself. Ugh. 
some people would think that it's so sad being alone all the time like this. I think it's funny and fun. But I don't actually think like that. I don't, I don't think like, hey, what if I wasn't alone? I'm going to be meeting people out west to travel around with here and there. So that'll satiate my social needs as a human being. Whenever you're alone, you make all the rules. <laughs> way that's like four hours of windy roads and I kind of regret it. It is a scenic route but I'm getting car sick. It's the journey, right? It's the journey and the journey is noisy. <laughs> this is the smallest Walmart I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's see if we have any signal yet. There's no signal here. <laughs> this is weird. I need to find a gas station. Also got my essentials, which I'll show you. The hard boiled eggs and the cottage cheese are the essentials. And the bananas, apples, some prunes. These roads are no joke up here. It's getting dark. I'm hoping that this camp spot it works. I'm in the Ozarks, out in the middle of nowhere. No service as usual. Um, I saw car completely flipped over and the place we're around it just at the base of this mountain. It's terrifying. These roads are quite scary. I found my camp spot for the night. It's beautiful and quiet. It's so quiet. Oh god. Right before sunset as well. So kind of like spring summerish weather like it's not that cold I don't know what the temperature is because I don't have any internet but sorry I'm so tired oh, I drove so much today Kimchi. I'm just gonna go to sleep really early This heated blanket is so nice. Like it makes a big difference. I don't need it, but it makes it so much cozier in the morning. It's a little chilly, it's a little windy, but it's so beautiful and so quiet and peaceful. I'm gonna try and head out somewhere to find a hike to hike today, because I really need to get some movement in. I slept really well last night. I went to sleep early. It was so peaceful, but I had to turn my fan on. Like this big blanket and this pad underneath really elevated my sleeping game. I need to get another can of this. The moon was a full moon last night as well. Oh, it was gorgeous coffee and oatmeal it is very chilly instant coffee oh, that heat feels really nice a little trivia it's a little oh fuck <laughs> a little hard. Also, to update on my solar situation, it has worked perfectly. Um, while I'm driving, it charges the battery. And so I'm able to, you know, charge on my things, use my electric blanket, and it uh, just charges by itself. I found a hike about a half an hour away from here. Let's see how this coffee tastes. It tastes so much better because I'm out here and it's warming my hands. Warm oatmeal. 
people here are so much more like friendly. I know Southern hospitality is a thing and I've experienced it before. Like people came up to me like several different times, just in Walmart, just walking around. I went to Walmart once. It's like three different people. Like, hey, can I help you with anything? Or, hey, I really like your tattoos. Where'd you get your tattoos? Or, hey, how did you dread your hair like that? Like in the same store. <laughs> and I'm like, what is going on? It's very cool to see your own home country as a being a tourist there. Like I think you should see everywhere you're at as a tourist and it makes you really like observe things and appreciate things. We better get going so we can get this hike in and get some decent driving in today. two hours. I'm gonna have some lunch and lunch is so great today. And hard boiled egg that has been sitting. Okay, it's still good. Cottage cheese. I'm not used to being warm like this. Like it feels so weird. <laughs> I like my life to be pretty stimulating and overwhelming at times so I don't like my food to be too overwhelming. I like it to be simple and easy to understand. Yeah. We're gonna go through Cherokee Nation with our Jeep Cherokee right into Oklahoma. We'll, we'll try and find a rest stop in Oklahoma to sleep at tonight. I'm gonna end this video here because I, I think it's quite long. And so stay tuned for the next adventure. This has gone quite smoothly so far, so let's hope the rest goes smooth too, but who knows. Stay extraterrestrial, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.